Well, good evening, uh, First Baptist. Uh, this is Pastor Matt, and uh, several of you have been asking um, with our recent changes from uh, Wednesday to Sunday morning with our groups, uh, what do I do with my time now on Wednesday night? Uh, many of you enjoyed uh, having that midweek opportunity to grow in Christ and to have fellowship with other uh, believers, and now you're probably sitting around wondering, again, what, what do I do? And so uh, I just wanted to uh, give you a short video just giving you some options, uh, some things that you uh, may or may not have been thinking about. Uh, but first, I just want to kind of give you two things not to do, all right? So first, don't be idle, all right? So don't just use Wednesday nights and just say, okay, now I got free time, uh, and then just waste it. Uh, you know, you pick up a a new TV show that you want to watch, or um, you just uh, go for a walk, or just uh, laze around the house, uh, you know, go on a uh, Netflix binge or something like that. So don't don't be idle, all right? So uh, actually do something for the kingdom. Uh, the second thing would be don't pursue an activity that has no spiritual component. Um, we'll talk about an alternative to that uh, in a little bit, but don't just pick up something just to fill time. All right, I'll, I'll just do this, or I'll sign my kids up for this. Um, and then just uh, just fill your schedule then uh, because we all know that eventually uh, that'll be the thing that when the Lord actually wants you to do something, uh, is calling you to do something, you'll be like, well, I don't know if I have time because I have this on my schedule. So don't fill up your schedule uh, with those things. All right. So here are three uh, different opportunities, three things for you to think about uh, in regards to using your time on Wednesday night. Uh, first, Lead or join a discipleship group, all right? And you may be asking, well, what's a discipleship group? I haven't heard much about those. I've heard about classes and I've heard about community groups on Sunday mornings. What's a discipleship group? Uh, a discipleship group um, are things that we started this past fall, um, and they are groups of uh, two to three people, so a leader and usually uh, two other members, uh, who are learning what it looks like to follow Jesus, so become a disciple, and then also be equipped to make disciples, so teach others how to follow Jesus. Um, and so they meet once a week. Uh, they they read the book throughout, uh, read a chapter throughout the, the week. Uh, they meet. Uh, they uh, discuss the chapter. They uh, care for each other. They pray for each other. Um, and then throughout the year, uh, they just find uh, different ways uh, to follow Jesus. Whether that means uh, taking some time. Uh, throughout the year to serve together, uh, to meet a need in the church. Uh, maybe they'll uh, grab lunch together, have some time of fellowship. Uh, down the road, um, we'll be sending uh, these teams out on a retreat or conference um, so they can spend time together and get uh, further equipped. Um, and so, again, these are our discipleship groups, and we would love for every single member uh, in our church to be a part of a discipleship group at some point in time. Uh, to know what it means to follow Jesus, uh, and eventually we want to be a church. Again, that's uh, part of living in light of the gospel, one of our core values, to be a church that's sending disciples, and these groups are the best way to become a disciple who's making disciples. Uh, and one of the added benefits to this, we pay as a church for every single one of the books. Uh, so uh, our discipleship groups go through six books uh, over the course um, of the time that they meet, uh, our church pays for every single one of those books. And so if you love to read, um, this is a great way just to get six free books uh, for yourself, uh, but then you also get to discuss them and grow uh, with other believers. So that's number one, uh, to lead or join a discipleship group. And if you do, uh, you can use the church here on Wednesday nights if that's a common place for you to meet. Uh, I have uh, uh, someone from the church generously uh, outfitted, um, the counseling room, and so we got some nice comfy couches in here. Uh, I'll, I'll be glad to open up that part um, of the church office uh, so you can meet in there uh, with your group. But we would, again, we would love you to lead or join a discipleship group. Uh, second, uh, pursue fellowship, all right? And so that may be um, your family is just going crazy uh, uh, busy uh, throughout the week, and so Wednesday nights might be the time that you guys are just really intentional. Hey, we're going to make this time for our family. We're going to sit down. We're going to have a meal. Uh, we're going to do a devotion together. Um, whatever that looks like, uh, have a time of fellowship with your family, or uh, perhaps even better, um, if, if you already have quite a bit of family time, invite other members from your church over to your home. Uh, take the advantage uh, to get to know other members in your community group, uh, maybe people who sit around uh, next to you, maybe a, a new guest that has started to come to First Baptist, uh, get to know them. 
uh, but take that opportunity to have a time of fellowship and get to know other members um, in the church. Or again, if that's the only time you have with your family, uh, make the most of that time and be really intentional about that time. All right. And the third thing is to reach out. Uh, so take the opportunity um, as a family or as individuals uh, to reach someone with the gospel. Uh, so uh, serve in the community. Uh, you can serve your neighbor. Uh, maybe this is an opportunity just to say, hey, I have some free time. Um, on Wednesday nights, can I move some snow for you? Can I mow the lawn? Can I um, help you out with some project that you have uh, in your house? How you know? Can I, I make a meal for you and, and bring it over? I would love to do that. Uh, so find a way to bless your neighbor. Uh, perhaps uh, you can invite your neighbor over for a meal if you feel comfortable doing that. Um, or if you have kids, this is, uh, you know, earlier I said, don't pursue an activity that has no spiritual component. Um, the one exception would be um, a really good way is to get your kids involved in something, some activity, and then be really intentional about building relationships with other parents. And so, uh, for example, the next uh, five weeks, uh, we're getting our kids uh, involved in gymnastics. It's something they've wanted to do. Um, but Jen and I, um, we're just going to be really intentional during that time, um, or at least she's going to be. I'm, I'm leading a discipleship group during that time. So, uh, But Jen's going to be really intentional about uh, trying to uh, engage with other parents and meet other parents and uh, build those relationships um, so that way uh, we can be a gospel witness. So again, that's how our family's using our time for the next uh, six weeks. Uh, I'm leading a discipleship group. Uh, we're getting our kids involved in gymnastics and try to be intentional about reaching others. And I would love to hear uh, what the Lord is putting on your heart uh, to do. So feel free to comment um, on this post um, or uh, to reach out with any other ideas you have. But let's use them, uh, use this time to live in light of the gospel. Don't let our uh, Wednesday to Sunday schedule uh, give, give the enemy an opportunity to uh, cause us to be idle or to not live for Jesus. All right. Love you, church. Uh, so excited about what God is doing already on Sunday mornings. And if you're not already in a group, uh, we're going to be following up with you over the course of the next two or three weeks. So if you don't want us to, uh, to track you down, uh, we encourage you to, to join a group here in the next uh, two to three weeks. Uh, but we would love to see you grow in Christ uh, that way. But uh, so excited just to see uh, your response these first couple weeks. And we look forward to seeing how we're going to grow in Christ uh, this year. Love you, church. Uh, so thankful to get to serve Jesus with you. Uh, let's continue to live in light of the gospel.